Hello. <coughs> this is Kazra bringing you another video or replay video from a follower. This is Vishpidis in his eyes eight in his best game ever. And I virtually mean the best game ever. So we're playing on Prohorovka? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's a nice touch in the start of the game. The ISU kills the Panzer 2G. Which shouldn't supposed to be in this kind of game. Probably Platoon fails. With the ISU. Okay. And Chad going wild. Chad going wild. The ISU complains that he trolled him. But, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. You don't kill your own teammates, that's it. I know I'm a person who shouldn't say that because I'm quite frequently shooting my own teammates. But... Sorry guys that I wasn't streaming a lot this week, but I didn't have the time. Had a lot of things to do. A nice hit. Oh, he was way over there. Actually, let's increase the map cost. You guys don't see it. And I don't see it, even. Let's make it like this. Let's be in the cap circle to neglect the capture from the enemy team. And wait. Wait for something to get spotted. It's a quite interesting position to be in, frankly. Very dependent on your team and how much of the enemy team will come over here. As for the IS-8, let's just check how much penetration does this gun have. I'm quite interested of that. 225mm of penetration, that's very low. That's a tier 8 penetration. It's the King Tiger's penetration, for example. Spam incoming. And Vesp is aiming at another IS-8, but I think he won't get a shot out. No? He doesn't take the shot he prefers to take. A good shot in the side of IS. Now he has side shots on the IS-3 and the IS. That's basically when, why you want to get in this position to be over here and have side shots on those guys. You can see his team isn't the smartest team ever. He has a target way behind him on the other side of the tracks. And he has five friends way behind him. No one is in the front. No one is doing jack shit because they don't have shots. And now he gets a huge hit in the ass. God knows from what and who. Finishes us off one tank. Probably the... T no, the King Tiger didn't do it. I actually don't know what hit him. Maybe we'll see... Oh, there's an IS-8. And that... No. I have no idea how he got hit over here. By the way, don't mind the Polish flag. It's a little bit of a troll from his side. He's not Polish, he's German. But some people think it's funny to place a Polish flag on your tank and identify yourself as a Shema player. Oh, there's a huge stream of enemies on the other side. Unfortunately, it bounced a little bit more to the right. It would probably went better. I don't know if I would be standing here all the time. Honestly, right now, yeah, it's it's a good idea. He takes a nice shot, but unfortunately, as he finish off, finishes off that uh, IS-3. I will maybe be more aggressive now. Maybe now I would go to defend the ship. I, we know that the two tank destroyers are on the other side. He ricochets, unfortunately, from the IS. Yeah, he has a Ferdinand going straight through the, through the middle of the field. And a cool down D-44. Nice hit! Oh, from what I know, this isn't the top gun of this, isn't it? This is the IS Freeze gun. Yeah, it's gonna be the IS Freeze gun. The T-34 has no idea how to play his tank. Oh, no, he didn't know where he is. So that's, that changes the perspective. But, yeah, I was supposed to say it about that, that you can see that their team completely doesn't have a clue how to divide up their fire. They have tanks in his rear. Tanks in his front and they cannot cooperate together. Another very good shot. I'm amazed how, how good his shots are. So the IS-3 goes head up, head up. 
and a low damage roll. He could have had that kill. Yeah, this is a thing that I thought that is gonna be annoying. Because I already know the end results. You guys have to wait. It's already a 3200 uh, damage game, which is already good enough. It's already good score. Vespa unfortunately doesn't survive this game. As you can predict. Doing the smart thing and taking a shot at a tank that he knows in two shots he can kill instead of like just punching a Ferdinand a little bit. It goes through the superstructure of the Ferdinand while being shot back. 4000 damage already, waiting for his track to repair. Let's go. Now we can see that someone is complaining about the RE75, which is over there, that he's not angling. Honestly a bad position. You can see those two tanks in the back in the back. Let's just check who that is. This two and IS3. Yeah, IS3 in that kind of position. Yeah, that gives you a perspective on how much of a dumbass that guy is. Let's take an awesome shot against the IS8 from the side. Unfortunately the E75 got burned down, so it's four against six. With Vesp being on almost 700 life and enemies crossing this ridge line. Three enemies on his side, one enemy behind him, and only two. And now he gets another gigantic hit from the Ferdinand, I'm guessing. Oh no, it wasn't the Ferdinand. But amazingly he absorbs in his tracks the next shot. Tiger having no clue whatsoever how to position himself. Canaveron finishes him off. First starts side scraping. Which seems to walk out. He shoots the KV4, bounces. Now he's in a bad spot because he won't have enough support. Come on, take this! Nice, so he kills this guy. Bounces a Ferdinand shell. Now it's time to be aggressive. Now it's time to, to push a little bit and hope for the best. Unfortunately he bounces off the Ferdinand superstructure but he bounces two shots. I don't know what has a better... Again he bounces! AGAIN! He finishes... And again! What the hell are those guys doing? The most weakly armored tier 9 tank. Against tanks that have more than significantly enough penetration. He gets up to 5 and... 5.8 thousand damage with 5 kills. Sorry for that. And right behind him, IS-8, so this is over. Oh no, the IS-8 misses and Vesp actually penetrates him, does damage. What the hell is wrong with those teams? He's the last guy standing. Vesp puts a hit in him, gets shot by him and doesn't penetrate. Now his teammates are failing. We know that he won't survive, but a score like this, it's a headbreaker. It's a bloody heartbreaker. But yeah, awesome game Vespa, let's look at the end place for this. So, here we have the first place for this game. As we can see, Vesp made 4114 experience on Ace Tanker Barge and 94,000 credits. So, quite an awesome score. As I said, shame he died towards the end. So you can see that he hit a lot of players. But let's see that on the second third plate. So, second plate. On the second plate we can see that uh, he was top in his team with 1.5 thousand non-premium experience. That has to be some kind of promotion but it's an amazing score overall. 6571 damage. Just to give you a brief overview of how much that is. He doubled and exceeded the doubling of anyone on his team. There is only one person in the enemy team that actually was close. Well, not close, he actually exceeded. So, the IS-8 on the enemy team exceeded 3,000.2. 3, uh, almost 0.3 that he needed to for Vespa not being able to double that amount of damage that he done. So, as we see that I is free and uh, Isu, the Isu honestly did like a few shots, there's nothing 
you know, impressive about that. That's roughly five shots from the BO10. The IS-3 completely neglected his role in the game and just sit back and didn't do jack shit. Like most of his team. But let's look at the third plate. And on the third plate we see Vesp shot 24 times, 19 penetration, 6571 damage as I said. 16 hits received, only 7 non-penetrating hits. For a potential damage received of 6230. Also, enemies damage 10. That means only 5 guys didn't get shot by him. While being in the middle of the map. Enemies destroyed 5. As I said, it was a heartbreaker that he didn't get that IS-8 on the end. Damage upon detecting 2135, which is also, in its own respect, a lot. So, as we can see, the normal non-premium experience would be 914, but since there was some kind of an action payout, he got the double amount added to his premium score, meaning he got 2286 premium experience plus that 1828 giving him a total of 4,114, uh, 4, sorry guys for the choke up, and made a profit, he didn't fire a single gold shot so. Well that's that for this game, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, shout out to Vesp in the comments for this awesome game, and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield, see ya.